Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrappin' Irish video. And what have I got for you this time? Well, I get asked this question all the time. Is it worth taking this apart for gold recovery, precious metal? And one of the things a lot of people will ask is, is TDs worth uh, taking apart for gold recovery and precious metals and all that sort of stuff in it? Um, so what I've decided is we'll take apart a TV, we'll have a look through it, and then you can decide if it's something that you think is worthwhile. I'll tell you what my opinion is at the end. So for the moment, we'll take this apart. So this is just a very small television. I think it's a 22-inch TV or something like that. So I didn't want to take a big, massive one apart. Now, this one has the added bonus of a DVD player in it, which they do all don't have, but this one does. So um, that means we should get a little bit more material than you would normally get from a regular television. Doesn't matter which size TV you take apart, the only difference will be in whether they're LEDs, plasmas, rear projection TVs, stuff like that. So different TVs like them will have more precious metal or less depending on which one it is. So the LEDs, which I'm taking apart here, will not be the most profitable, but I'll show you what I take off for gold recovery, precious metal copper brass um silver all that stuff is hidden inside these tvs so we're going to take it apart so i'm going to speed this up so you don't have to listen to me talking and i'll take this cover off and we'll have a look inside Okay, so we have all the screws taken out. Uh, so now we just need to um, pop off this back cover. So usually you just put, pop a screwdriver into the side somewhere, find a spot and just move along and take all the, the back cover off. Um, so there we go. We have a little bit of wiring here, so we'll just disconnect that first so I can take the back away from it. So inside of here, we have the main components of the TV. Well, on this one, it's this main board here is the main part. Again, depending on the size of the TV, you'll have bigger boards, smaller boards, stuff like that. So this is the, the main workings of the TV. So we have some little speakers here again. Some people do sell these speakers. I've seen people sell these speakers on like eBay, places like that. So maybe have a look at that before you um, decide to throw them away or scrap them out fully, see if there's a value for them, um, that someone might buy them for some project they're doing. Could be another source to make a little bit of extra money because we all know that the scrap is going to be the least amount of money you're going to make. So we're going to take off this board and set it aside for a moment until we strip out everything out of the TV that you can see. So we'll get a closer look at this board in a second. So guys, in the comments, let me know what sort of TVs, if you scrap out TVs, what brands you scrap out, what you take out of the TVs. Do you um, strip them down fully? Do you just go after certain components on the boards? Um, what's your best find? What, what would you recommend as a television to strip out? What have you found hidden on televisions that you were surprised by? We'll put that aside for a second because we still have this board to take off as well. This little board. So a lot of people might just strip it out as far as this and call it a day at that. Um, but you possibly are leaving behind a little bit of more material that can be taken off. So what 
I will be doing is stripping it down further. So I want to take it out of the um, casing completely. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is our TV once. A little bit of tape here has to be lifted off. Now we have a little board over here that I might as well take out while we're at it. And we'll get a closer look at it because there's no point leaving it on there in case there's any material left in it. So just when it's two lip screws, we'll take it off. We'll get a closer look at that board in a second. So I'm just going to clear this mess out of the way and we'll come back. I've done okay, that. so I've cleared away the bit of plastic and stuff. So then you have this case in here. So some people may not take this apart, but I always do. So we'll try and just remove this case in, and I'll show you what's inside of here. So sometimes that case just pops off and other times it needs to be um, persuaded to pop off. So we'll just get a little screwdriver and um, usually pops in underneath here and then we can just pop off the casing from the actual screen itself. So that casing there is just steel. No need to do anything else with that. Just put in your steel pile and that's it. Bring it to your scrapyard. So here we have, this was the ribbon wire. So we're just going to remove this bit of copper taping. So again, some people will put that in with their copper. And if you look closely, you can already see some gold showing up there on this. So there's always a strip on the, underneath here. So that if you've never stripped out TVs before, this will be always a little finger strip here um, on your TV. So if you haven't been stripping them down this far, you'd be missing out on that little finger strip. Now, most people that have been doing this for a long time and scrappers will know about that and will always take that off because it can be treated the same as you would your um, gold strips on um, from fingers, from ram fingers. You can treat it the same way. Put in your copper chloride and remove the actual gold from it. So I don't want to put this through my hand. That's why we're just trying to remove this tape. Okay, um, check and see if there's any little screws holding in place. Doesn't seem to be. Seems to just pop off there. Okay, and then we'll just remove it from, it should just. Okay, so I've removed that strip. I also check these here on the ends to see if they have actual gold fingers on them. So if they have, we'll cut them off, but uh, this one doesn't. Any gold doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be any gold. So I'm gonna put this aside for a second, this part of the screen, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes at the end. Um, I just want to think. So right, this is what we've removed. So again, we want to um, take the ribbon wire out. Well, what I want to do first is see if the ribbon wire has gold on it and you can see there I think you can see the gold the color I hope it's bringing it up the gold color view on the camera but um, we have some gold flashing on there so again that's something we'll we'll take off so we'll just remove that I'll break it off for a moment from there and we'll leave that aside because that's we can trim them off when we're dealing with it later now so as I was saying already, we have the gold flashing. So you have some gold flashing here, gold flashing all along here. Again, a little bit of gold flashing. So again, always do the little scratch test guys to make sure there's no gold hidden underneath. So all we do is we just scratch that and we have a look and see is that gold or copper? And it looks like copper to me, which it is. I'll just do a bigger scratch. So you can see there, that is copper that's under there. So that means I don't need to treat this any further. Now you can take off these little MLCCs as well, because they all add up. If you're into the silver recovery from the MLCCs, take them off. So that's a fingerboard on it. 
The other boards, we're just going to have another quick look at them and see what we have on there. Again, we just have some MLCCs. Um, is the main things that I, if I'm going to strip it, take anything off this board, it's going to be the MLCCs. That's it. Again, that looks like it's gold there, but it's not actually gold color. It's it might look it, uh, but it's actually a copper. Um, so again, if we scratch underneath there, you'll see it's copper as well. All the way down into that as well, so you can see the copper coming through. So again, no need to do much on that board. The main board. So some of the TVs might have three or four main boards on them, um, different depending on the quality. This is a fairly basic television, so it didn't have an awful lot on it. So what have we got on here that I'll be taking off? Well, we've got our crystal oscillators for the silver. Uh, we have some chips for the gold to be hidden inside of them chips. We have a little switch here, which again will have a little bit of silver in there. Not an awful lot, a little bit of silver. Uh, you might find some gold contacts inside of there. Um, and that's about it. There might be some gold pins in under this. So I'll just pop this to see if it's gold or not. So it's just a matter of breaking this off like that and then push it up. So once we have it rising, we can usually get it to pop. There we go. So I just want to, yeah, so you can see there. They are gold pins. So I'll remove that and I'll put them gold pins in with my next batch of pins I'll be working on. So not a lot on that board. Now, most TVs will have a few extra boards and if you're lucky, you'll have a gold corner VGA on one of them, which makes it kind of worthwhile. Um, now, before I finish up and say whether I think TVs are worth doing or not, and um, this part the screen part i don't do anything with the screen part but there is another youtube channel called mike's meltdown and he is collecting these up at the moment and he's going to try and recover the precious metals that are between the layers of the um, led panel so he's going to try and get any of the precious metals he's been doing research on it and he's going to make an attempt at it at some stage so it'll be interesting to see if it's going to be economically viable to do it. Uh, me personally, I won't be doing it at the moment because I don't think it's economically viable uh, as a thing. And again, it's, it takes a lot of time and stuff like that. So for me, this now will go to a recycling and that's it. Um, the rest in we have is plastic. So you have a lot of plastic on your TVs. So again, we have a DVD player on this that you wouldn't normally have on most other brands of TVs that people are taking apart there's usually the bigger TVs wouldn't have the DVD on them anymore so this has the bonus of the DVD where again there will be a little bit of gold material I'm not going to strip this one out I'm just taking it out of here for a reason I want to show you something in a second uh, if you want to see what's inside of these DVD players and CD-ROMs I've done videos on it on the channel just um, put on um scrap an irish uh, dvd player or dvd rom or cd rom and you'll get the video uh, it'll bring you straight through it and you'll be able to see what's inside of these that i take off there's a reason i just want to take this completely out so we have some wire okay so as well as the um bits of um gold we also have some wire that can be put in with your insulated copper wire just trim off any bits ins and stuff like that off it check your scrap yard what way they want it you can also quickly just check the the ribbon wire and that one is in gold so um it's as you can see it's it's the uh, nickel plated um so it's not actually gold so not really worth it on the board on this side because it's kind of got doesn't have the cover we can kind of quickly look Chips, I'll take them off for gold recovery. They'll come off and um, any MLCCs that are fairly decent size, I'll take them off. If they're very small, like them tiny ones, I don't bother taking them off. Um, it's just if they're a bit more substantial in size, I'll take them off. Um, we have a little screw there holding this. Might as well take it off and see what, what's underneath the board. I said I wasn't gonna strip this out. Um, might as well just take it off now when this, this, these two little screws are holding it. I'm 
remove the wire remove the wire and uh, this wire is soldered so I'll have to cut him off but I'll still be able to show you what's on here without doing that we have a um, crystal oscillator so that's all that's on this side that I'll take off I don't bother oh sorry I will take off the switches because those switches will have silver in them so that's that's all I'll take off there and on this little board underneath nothing of value at all on there little copper motor if anyone takes him off you can get a little bit of gold inside of here um, if you're lucky there will be a little bit of gold not an awful lot another motor here and that's kind of it so would i say it's worth stripping out tvs um for me yes because um see how long it took me to strip that it only took a few minutes you know if i wasn't doing a video it would have been done well, the way quicker for me, yes, but this was a small TV. Uh, it wasn't a big TV. Now, you can also, if you're liking Matthews, you can remove these little um, brass uh, ferrules out of there. You usually pop in and pop out. Um, if you have something small, you can usually put it in there and just pop out them little brass ferrules. Sometimes they might be brass, sometimes they mightn't be brass. The downside of stripping TVs is the amount of plastic. So here you go, there's one small tv and look at that plastic so lucky enough i can put this into my plastic recycling bin um, and it'll be disposed of um hopefully in a in a um environmentally friendly way but if you don't have that option if, if your uh, waste companies don't take the plastic like this which some companies won't take what do you do with your plastic guys tell me tell me in the um chat what do you do with your chat plastic if you strip out tvs do you um have a buyer for it? Uh, or what, how do you dispose of it? Do you have to pay to get rid of it? Because again, if you have to pay for it, that takes down any value. Because again, you can see here on this TV, we have very little in there. Very little, a few gold pins, a bit of gold flashing along here, a few MLCCs, a few chips, um, and that's it. There's not a lot on this board. Um, so some boards can be bigger, as I said, some TVs I've seen three or four, boards in them which make it if they're gold corner VGAs on there really is worth it then but the likes of this you're not going to make money on this um you're going to need a lot of them and then you have a lot of plastic to get rid of so tell me do you strip out TVs guys do you go after this stuff um tell to let us all know in the chat what you do with your waste your plastic how do you get rid of it uh, are you able to bring it to to your local uh, councils or local um, transfer centers do you have to pay to dispose of the uh, screens like this that's left over if you're not going to do anything with them uh, i don't have to pay for the disposal of these these can be sent to a we recycling uh, company and they'll recycle that it doesn't cost me anything to get rid of it so lucky enough that's that's the only reason i probably would if i had to pay to get rid of that sort of stuff i wouldn't strip out the tvs at all i wouldn't even take them so as always, guys, I hope this video was a bit helpful to anyone that's thinking about stripping out TVs, was wondering what's inside these TVs. Is it worth doing? Is it not worth doing? It's something you're going to have to decide yourself at the end of the day uh, if it's worth doing or not for you. But for me, yeah, I, I strip out. I don't go looking for them, but if I get them, I don't mind. I'll strip them out. So as always, appreciate you guys. Um, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to share it out if you can. Comment, as always. And if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Gone over 15,000 subscribers at the moment. So that's amazing. Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed. As always, stay safe, guys. And um, keep on looking for that gold. It's in the e-waste. Catch you on the next one.